Good morning guys, this is John with Ridgeview Homestead. I was having a little bit of technical difficulties this morning with my camera gear. So I started doing some work and I think I lost some of the footage. But anyways, I'll take a quick peek here and show you guys what I've been doing. I um, started taking the uh, cabinet out here. I worked on most of the electrical last night. Got it all marked out. Got everything uh, taken out and ready to be reinstalled at a later date. Basically what I'm going to be doing is, is I'm going to be building a little box up here that will house the radio and one storage cabinet door and it'll, it won't be, it'll probably be half the width of the window there so it'll go from about here to about the corner. I have to build a chase along there to hide all these wires and then I'm going to build a little chase along the floor there to run some power over here. Um, Steph's desk is going to be over here and then over here is going to be like a entertainment center with the flat screen on there. So uh, let's get back to work. like a tape of some kind to uh, put these joints together. It's like a little tape they put on. It's kind of interesting. At least I know what it is now. I was wondering if it was something else or what, but now I know it's a big sticker. Might reuse some of this wood to build my box. So we'll hang on to this stuff. I have a strip screw right back here, so let me see if I can get a light. You guys can take a look. The head of this screw is all stripped out. So I think I'm gonna have to cut it. So that's what I'm gonna try to work on next. And of course I forgot to bring a sawzall. I have a jigsaw, but the jigsaw won't get back there. So we'll have to do it manually. This red and white wire here, this is for all the lighting. So I'm gonna have to run that over and reconnect it to the other one so all the, the other lights will work. You always run into some snags, you know? And this was some of the stuff that I wasn't quite expecting. I thought I could just tear this down and be done with it relatively quickly, but it's not looking that way. I see they use some kind of like a seam tape to cover it up. So that's pretty interesting. It's kind of cool. There's like a little false side and a false bottom. So the wire runs down into that false bottom there. I'll take this guy off here. Try not to break it. It's just stapled in. There we go. 
Got a few more pieces over here of that chase material that was in the corner. I might use some different wood or this stuff is just so thin and it's all it's all warped. Sure hope you guys can see what I'm doing okay. I've never used this headgear before. So hopefully this video will turn out okay. Cut some of these nails off. Okay. get that screw out go to the old universal screw getter outer tool vice grips some putty to fill these holes and cracks and whatnot so okay there we go were totally stripped out. Wow. Oh, look at all the sawdust and everything in here.
This is the part that's going to be tricky. I think I'm just going to make a cut right there. Take this sucker apart. Just like that. All right. Well, that's looking a little bit better, huh? One more, one more to cut through here. That one's not going to be easy. Without hitting these wires. that now. There we go. You're free, wires. You're free. Try to get these guys back into the wire loom here. Throw some tape on here so it'll stay together. There we go. Okay. Screw collection. There's my screw collection. That's probably about two to three pounds of screws. This wire right here is the antenna that goes outside. So I guess that box is gonna have to come over to here. It's gonna be a little bit bigger than I thought. Well, that's a bummer. That's okay. We're gonna have a large flat screen here. So it'll cover most of that. Oh, more screws. probably end up throwing most of them away, but you never know. Put a little bit of tape around this guy here to hold it together from popping out. I have a feeling I'm going to have to eventually cut these wires or undo the wire nuts and redo it but that's an awfully big hole to drill into the side of a cabinet but it's not a big deal we'll just mark them all really good and we'll put it back together i'll probably use butt connectors instead of these got some really cool butt connectors i can show you 
All right, Ooh, getting warm. Time to take the jacket off. Get this out of our way so I don't step on it. Tuck that around the corner. All right, cabinet number two or three or four or whatever number I'm on. Another one that looks stripped. Yep. Hey, we got it. all right there we go one cabinet down This uh, trim. Not sure exactly where the box is going to be. I'm going to need a little piece of trim here and here and then along here. So we'll have to get some thin, thin trim.
Sorry for all the grunting and moaning. You know us guys, we gotta moan and grunt and make all kinds of noises. That's when you know you're working hard. Fresh air in here. That's cool. The screen's open. Get a little cross breeze going through here. Figures. There we go. A little tricky. It takes a lot of concentration to get nails out of the wall, you know what I'm saying? I'm still kind of getting used to this whole talking talking to you guys and there's no one here in the room. So that takes some getting used to. That's for sure. Some of these are not sticking out very far. Nah. Well, hello, Mr. B. Nope, can't come in here, sorry. All right, all those came out. Nice. I doubt I'll be able to reuse much of this, but you know, why not hang on to it till the end? 
might need a little piece of trim. Okay. I'll have to put a staple or a nail or something in there. I did bring a staple gun with me. I'll have to throw a couple staples in that. This is kind of a bummer. I wish this was further over this way. I, mean, I guess I could re-drill a hole in the side of the camper, but I really don't want to do that. I'll have to think about that one. All right, so moving on. Um, let's see. This chase is gonna comes from the floor, so we're gonna run it up this way. Kind of give you an idea. We're gonna go like this, come up here, and then maybe do like a little bulkhead up here. Maybe that's what I'll do, like a maybe one inch deep or something and then that cabinet will go below here or maybe the cabinet will just go here and I'll just do a little bulkhead along there maybe that's what I'll do gotta figure out what all this stuff is this is a phone cord and I believe one of these is like for cable TV and one's for satellite and it goes to a plug outside and this is just like a junction point here. I'm gonna cut this apart. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. It'd be like a junction box in a house where all the wires and everything go to. Can't tell how this is attached. Oh, there's a screw right there. Looks like a square head. some vacuuming and some cleanup get some of this wood out of here I think it's kind of funny to see a phone cord in a camper So let's see, looks like, yeah, that's exactly what this is, is a junction point. So we'll have to keep this. I'm just gonna have to maybe like mount it on the wall or something like that. So for now, we'll just remove it from the floor. Since I gotta take the carpet up. I think what we'll end up doing is when this this is up we'll just maybe mount this back in the corner over here like that and then that'll be pr protected out, out of the way of furniture and all that stuff we'll put the cover back over this uh oh I lost my screw those are the two black ones. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Too much junk and debris. I'll see if I put it in my pocket. 
No. What the heck did I do with it? See, started flapping my gums. I'll figure it out. It's not a big deal. It's a little screw. No big deal. Moving on. There we go. It's shut. Get rid of this. I gotta decide if any of this is worth saving. This is probably not worth saving, I don't think. See, they put a little piece of trim on here. I think I'd be better off just building it out of like plywood or something and just painting it to match instead of trying to reuse this material. I'll save the little chase pieces and the stripping and stuff like that and get rid of the rest. I'll go load it up in the truck. So I won't bore you guys with that. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup and uh, we'll get back. We'll get back to it. All right, guys. So next step, going to start uh, taking this trim off here. Try to get the 90s knocked out of it. Just not crazy about it. We're just gonna do some simple trim. You'll see what I end up doing. So uh, let's get started. Let's see here. gonna make this easy for me That's some nice wood. I thought it was fake wood, but it's real oak. It's pretty nice. Could always turn it around, maybe. And uh, we got all these holes here. Yeah, we'll just do we'll do something else. We want to just try to soften it up and not make it look so. I don't know. Just don't like the way it looks. It's just a little too fancy. We're just going to do some simple trim, simple angles, and just kind of let it just fade away, not be such a focal point. So well, let's keep going. Well, it looks like this little trim here might be attached. Yep. So, I'm going to have to try to pop this down without damaging it. 
going to try to reuse as much of this as I can. Wow, I guess that part was coming off. We'll lay this up here. Sun's starting to go down already. It's only like 3:30. I'm on the uh, east side of Monica's garage, so it's getting a little dark over here. All right, let's see what we can do here. Try to nail that. This little spot here is driving me nuts, so Let's see if I can fix this. Nope. Thought maybe a staple would work, but that's not gonna work. I'll we'll have to use a nail. That's okay, we'll pull it out. Redo. Yeah, it, just, it needs a little nail right there. All right, back to the task at hand here. some heavy boards well, if anything we'll be eliminating uh, quite a bit of weight that'll be a good a good thing I'll have to do some cleaning here knock some of these nails back in actually we could just do that right now nope Try to pull those guys out. There we go. There we go. Okay. Next board.
Wow, that's a lot of nails. I think I said that like 300 times, so sorry about that. Not good at hammering over my head. Well, thought I was gonna need that, but I guess not. Yikes. Whoa. That sucker just popped right off. Okay. Those are done. When I was taking this uh, light off of here, I noticed this was really corroded and rusted. There must have been maybe at one point a slight leak up in here and uh, I can't even get these out. So I went to Home Depot and bought a new box. So we'll pop that off in a minute and we'll get that switched out. Last one. This time, don't pop it off. There we go. to pull the slides in when I paint. Yep, I think I'm gonna have to because there's a gap back here. Okay, all right, we got that one down. Now we got to move over to this one. Because I'm going to have to move all these boards out of the way. I'll do that and get back to you guys. Okay, we'll get this sucker switched out. And yes, the power is off, so we're good. Take these wire nuts off. Hmm. 
Well, that ain't gonna work. I got two different size boxes here and I don't have enough clearance. So I'm gonna have to get a narrow box. We'll have to take this back and get a different one. It's so one thing about doing remodels and stuff. You end up running to the store 50,000 times. Well, maybe not 50,000, that might be an exaggeration, but you get my hint. We'll put these wire nuts back on just in case I turn the power back on at some point. Alrighty, I'll throw away these rusted out screws. I don't see any real sign of like water damage, but you know, maybe a little leak came and got this wet. I don't know. But anyways, all right. Well, we'll move on over here to the other side. Gotta double check, make sure I'm rolling. get this other side taken out we'll start right here This guy was really in there. There she blows. here at one time it's dry so hopefully that's not a continued leak to keep our eye on that dart. There's a slide out in the bedroom that I gotta take that one apart too. I should probably just knock that out right now since I'm doing demo. 
I was kind of working from the back of the coach to, or from the front to the back, or the back to the front, however you want to say it, um, kind of one room at a time. But, I think I'm going to save this little shelf. This is kind of cool. Put a drink on or your cell phone while it's charging. <laughs> 